Um, in terms of uh, looking at the different liver um, and gallbladder flushes and cleanses, can you speak to your product and um, the other um, diets or cleanses where they use the um, apple, apple juice and the lemon and the um, olive oil? Yes, for a liver flush. Yes. Yeah, well, bladder. my products are great and everything else out there sucks. <laughs> um, no. Um, sure, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, my five-day detoxes are something that came out of my clinic because I realized that, you know, most people say, well, I'll do a cleanse on the weekend. Never works. Someone calls you, let's go to a party, let's go out to dinner. Forget about it. The best time to do a detox is at work, Monday through Friday. You're busy. The next thing you know, it's Friday, you're done. So it's five days, and that always seemed to work good in my clinic. So I suggest everyone does a five-day detox once a season, keep ahead of the game, and don't get sick. Um, and what do you start with? This is something we always talk about. It's always the bowel. The bowel's the major elimination organ. Then go to the liver or kidneys, depending where you feel the vibe. Um, and that's what the five-day detoxes are. The liver detox, part of it is I have you make a liver flush. And there's a lot of different liver flush drinks out there. I've read liver flush drinks where they're talking about taking chemicals. There's even a liver flush out there with Coca-Cola in it. And to me, you know, there's a big dividing line in what's natural and what's natural healing and what's not. And Coca-Cola is not part of herbal medicine and natural healing. The liver flush drink that I have in the five, my five-day liver detox is the one I used in the clinic. It's plenty powerful to get rid of gallstones. There are other ones out there where you consume a lot more oil, and often those flushes make you vomit, which is not bad. It's a cleaner stomach for the next dose. I don't have a problem with the vomit, but I never really found them always necessary. I had patients come to me ambulatory that came from the hospital that didn't want to have their gallbladders out, that had horrible um, pains, and we were able to uh, flush their gallbladder out with that same flush drink, the one that I suggest. If, you, if it doesn't work, take another one. Make another one. There's no limit uh, to the amount you can do. We have someone in here that flushed, uh, sent me a picture. That was a great picture, Lane. Raise your hand, Lane. She sent me a picture of a, was that a Chanel watch? <laughs> with a pile of golf stones. I thought, you know, if you're going to show me how big or small someone is, something is, why not put a Chanel watch in? Most people use a ruler, but Chanel watch was great. Lane. And uh, she had eliminated a ton. Lane uh, has a history of gallbladder congestion, uh, a family history, a genetic history, and her gallbladder gets stuck, even though she lives her life good and is healthy once in a while. So she has to do flushes and do preventative things. And, uh, and, but sure enough, you, you'll, have a lot, you'll eliminate a lot of gallstones. You'll poop out a lot of gallstones. And thank you for that wonderful picture. I have it in my office. Yeah, there's so many out there, and that's great. Okay, I'm thrilled. And I certainly don't mind the competition. If there's one issue I have with a lot of the competition is they're just not doctors and not herbalists. You would be surprised at the herbal companies on the market in the health food store that there's no herbalist in the building. I'm kidding you, there's none. Uh, there was 25 years ago, then that person sold the company, and now the marketing team's going, hmm, echinacea is hip, ginkgo's cool. I heard fever few works for migraines, let's put them together. And that's what's happening out there. So because it's a multi-billion dollar industry now, you have stuff that doesn't work. And then I hear people say herbs don't work, and I get all fired up, and you know what? A lot of them don't. So the one thing you get with me is my clinic is my 10, 20,000 laboratory rats, patients, that I experimented on, screwed up on, they screwed up, and we figured it out together. And the 100 years of my combined teachers, their experience. So that's really why we added the name Dr. Schultz to the company, because there's a lot of herbal companies, but there's only one Dr. Schultz. And I, I'm kind of tooting my own horn here, but man, if, some, if my ass is on the line and someone's giving me advice, read my book, 20 Steps. First, I want to make sure that at one time their ass was on the line. And I was, my ass was on the line, if you read the beginning of my book. I also want to make sure they've done this themselves. I see all sorts of miracle cures on the market, but I want to know how many people have done it and does it work? 
And so, you know, really that's why I push me is because that's why I yelled at my patients a lot and made them do what I say and why I say that that liver flush works. It's so powerful and so effective. The head hepatic surgeon at one of the big hospitals in LA now dosed my five-day liver detox with his patients trying to prevent them from having surgery. Wow, okay, it works.